Hi guys, Stuart here, hope you're all doing well. Today's lesson we're going to look at the paradiddle and how we can apply it to the drum set. Okay, the paradiddle is a brilliant rudiment. It's great sticking pattern and there's lots of things we can do with it. So the first step is we're going to take the right hand part and we're going to put it up onto the hi-hat. Okay. So the sticking pattern here is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay, so let's give that a go and you can hear how it sounds. Okay, so we're not doing anything with dynamics there. Okay, we're simply just taking the right hand part and putting it onto the hi hat. Now I'm feeling the sort of semi quaver subdivision, 16th notes. So 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Okay, so once we've got that down, the next step would be to get the bass drum and put it on one in three and we've pretty much got a groove after that so here we go I hope you could all sort of work out where the one was and uh, hear how it's already sort of came together into a groove, something that you could probably use uh, right away. So obviously we can develop bass drum patterns. We'll look at that in a wee minute. But the next thing we'll probably do is look at the left hand dynamics, okay? So if we're thinking about it in a groove setting, we still want to keep that strong backbeat on two and four which is fine, we did that. So next we want to sort of bring down all the other left hand strokes. So the uh, the E of beat one, okay, the second semi-quaver, the left hand is in there, so we want to just bring that down a wee touch. Then the next left hand stroke's on beat two, so that's fine, we want to keep that strong, okay, we want to keep that backbeat there. Then we've got the left uh, hand diddle, so, we want to just bring that down, okay? That's on the the uh, and and the a ah of beat two, okay? And then it just repeats the the e of beat three, and we've got an accent on beat four, of course, and then the diddle on four, which is on the and and the a. Ah. We want to just bring that down a wee touch, okay? So this will make a massive difference to the sound and make it feel more like a sort of pop groove, okay, something that we can use, so here we go. Massive difference and it just sounds so cool. So let's get that up to speed uh, and you can get, give that a wee listen. Here we go.
Okay, so I hope you could hear that. Um, I just love playing that groove. I could play that for hours and hours on end. It's just it just flows really nice, and it's essentially it's a it's a complete groove. You could play that you know for three and a half minutes in a, a pop tune. It's so cool. Okay, so have fun. You know, try try and pick that up. Obviously, 60, 70 BPM. Start off nice and slow, and then just sort of work your way up. Okay, in that sort of process, which is just get that right hand, get it up onto the hi hats, and then just sort of go from there. Okay, so the next thing we could look at is maybe some bass drum variations. Okay, so dead simple one for me would be kick on one, then beat three, then the and of three. So boom, get, doom, doom, get, doom, get, doom, doom, get, you know. We'll keep that paradiddle going on top. So here we go. Okay, so yeah, we could essentially just keep that hand pattern that we've got. Uh, the right hand just on hi hats, left hand sort of bringing down those dynamics, and then a strong uh, backbeat on two and four. And then you can just go through as many bass drum variations that you can think of. Okay, um, <coughs> the next one for me would be bass drum on one, then the and of two, and beat three. Boom. Get boom boom, get boom, get boom boom, get boom, get boom boom, get. Okay, so right away, you know, we've only taken five ten minutes here, and we've got three new grooves essentially uh, that you could use. As I said, you could play that for three four four minutes in a pop tune, and people would totally dig it. Uh, bass players especially. All right. So what else could we do with that groove? Well. We could think about it uh, maybe more as a sort of a two bar phrase or just a little f a fill essentially. So if you just get your basic uh, eighth note groove going, you know, every two bars, three, four bars, whatever, you could use that as a fill or you could use it as a little sort of pickup. So, you know, let's just get a groove going, a little four bar groove. And every fourth bar, I'm just going to play that paradiddle as just a, a bit, a little a bit of flavour. You know, it, as I said, it could be the fill, or it could just be something just to make it a bit more interesting. So let's give that a go. Okay guys, so awesome little little uh, ingredient there to your plane. You could just spice it up and it's just a basic basic rudiment that you would obviously learn first of all on your, your pad or your snare drum. And then, you know, I only added in sort of two variables there. We just took the right hand, chucked it on the hi-hats and uh, brought in the bass drum. And all of a sudden it's like really cool sounding. Okay, so... Yeah, what else could we do? We could chuck the right hand up onto the right cymbal, okay? And we can look at different accents with the bell, 
etc. But we'll just keep the, the right hand pretty straightforward just now. I'll do a bell and then I'll do some body strokes. Uh, bring in the left foot as another little extra. But that would be a great thing to do maybe on your on your song that you're writing. You know, when you're wanting a bit of a lift in the chin. You know, you're sitting in the, in the verse, in the pre-chorus. Then you want to give it a bit of energy, a bit of a lift into your chorus. Well, you could just go straight into that paradiddle groove. And all of a sudden... It, it's just giving it that extra bit of motion. So let's do that on the ride symbol first, and then we'll look at the transition from sort of hi hat up to ride symbol. Okay. So, yeah, it sounds super funky. And then we'll bring in some body strokes and accents on the bell. That will spice it up a wee bit more. Here we go. Okay, so you can start making sort of melody lines, uh, start sort of saying some more musical phrases just with that combination of bell and, and body on your ride cymbal. Okay, so last thing we'll look at is that sort of transition from sort of the verse idea into your chorus. Okay, so as I said, you could be sitting in your verse, you could be playing in, in your band, etc., and it sounds really nice, and you're just wanting that little lift, that bit of energy into the chorus, okay, so let's give that a go, see how it sounds. Okay, guys, I was doing a few different inversions there as well, uh, just spicing it up. But that's the that's the sort of guts of it, the fundamentals of what you could do with a paradiddle. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you like it, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the page, share, share this video, and uh, get on to youdrummer.com. And uh, you'll see some more lessons and uh, play along stuff there as well. Okay, guys, so have a good day and take care. <laughs>